What's up YouTube, this is Seekin and I'm back with yet another video. Today's video is going to be a review on the Converse Chuck Taylor 70s. I know this is like a shoe that you're like, why would you review such a shoe that everybody knows about? But this is the 70s version, it's not the cheap 60 or $50 one. So this is the premium, it's supposed to be just like the original that came out back in the 70s. So let's get right into it. So first off it comes in this Converse box, it's kind of a different box from the typical one since this is supposed to be a premium version. I did get a 10 and a half in this. I wear 11 and a half in Adidas, 11 and a half in Vans. So I went a full size down from that. Sometimes I wear 12 in Nikes. So that's pretty crazy that it's a whole size and a half from that. This fits fine, the 10 and a half. It is just the typical Chuck Taylor, but some of the differences is you'll see, if you see this pair and then you see the regular pair, then you'll notice it and then you will hate the regular pair for the rest of your life because this pair just has the thicker sole it just looks a lot nicer it's a lot more sturdy your bottom this taping right here is not on the regular pair and then the toe is kind of smaller on this pair as well um, also this has like a glistening shine and it's kind of an off-white if you didn't notice um i don't know if you can pick it up on this but yeah, it's got a glisten to it and it's off-white, which is not the case with the regular pairs. The regular pairs are just straight white and it doesn't have any shine to it or anything. Same bottom. Another difference with this pair is you should be able to see right now is the upper isn't just falling. So if you get a regular pair of Chuck Taylors, the upper will just collapse like this. Um, if by gravity, it has no like support to it. It has no structure to it and it's very flimsy. This pair, it has a very thick canvas. I don't remember the exact ounce, um, but it is a lot thicker than the regular Chuck Taylor. Heel is a lot more sturdy because of that then. It just fits a lot better. And yeah, I really like that about it. That's a huge thing to me. The shape, it just changes the whole shape to the shoe. You'll see a difference in the shape and yeah, I really like that about that. Also on the back, you're gonna have a different logo. This is supposed to be more reminiscent of the original one. The regular Chuck Taylors will not have that logo on it. It's more of just a normal Converse logo on the back. The last two things I'm gonna say is the laces are a lot thicker. Um, they aren't just the thin laces that you see with typical like Vans or something. I really like the laces on these. And then also, these do have stitching here. Um, you won't see that on a regular pair of Chuck Taylors. There won't be any stitching like that. Overall, I don't think it's a must if you get the 70s ones. If you like the regular ones, that's totally fine. Um, but personally, after looking at the 70s ones and then looking back at the original ones, I can't look at the original ones anymore. Yeah, I, I just like this vintage look. But I'm more of a purist when it comes to shoes. I have a lot of shoes. I care about shoes being in very high quality. And that's just me. So I understand if you don't care, and if you don't, that's good for you. But I'm just pointing out the issues if you were to buy this pair versus the other pair. Do I think it's worth more money? The fact that this is like $80 for a Chuck Taylor is a little bit ridiculous, just considering that Vans are only like 60 also. That being said, more premium Vans are around $80 too, so it kind of matches up pretty well. But yeah, it just kind of sucks thinking that a Chuck Taylor costs this much. Such an old shoe, very iconic, but a shoe that's one of the first shoes and one of the oldest shoes that people still wear is still almost $100. So that's a little crazy to me. Let me know if you have any of the Chuck 70s, if you feel like the Chuck 70s or even like the One Star 70s, if you like that more or you just like, you don't care and you just go with the regular version. Um, yeah, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video guys um, Comment below any information you want to say to me and yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already and this is Sea Coon guys Check out my brand shuttle uh, this hat and some shirts as well as other things are on my website and this is Sea Coon and I'm out guys. Peace